Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm doing just another update on the setup of mine. As always, I have it running already. So, as you can see over here, I have now only four coils as generator coils and with a pretty large cores. It's just a test uh, to see how it works. It does work, as you can see. Uh, yeah, this rotor is the same as that one, is the 12 pole one. Uh, these rods over here are uh, alloy 50. And there's also an iron sleeve in there, in the coil, so it fits uh, perfectly. Other than that, the system is almost the same. I say almost because, as you can see over here, I have now a neon uh, bulb over there. Because uh, first, uh, I didn't have any issue with back EMF. But since like two days, I suddenly have it. So, uh, I didn't change anything. Rotor is the same cars are the same, drive system is the same, I have uh, adjusted a little bit or modified it because of the back EMF, but uh, I was popping some of those uh, MOSFET and those are rated uh, 57 amps and as you can see I'm running it on 23 volts at yeah 50 amps, sorry 50 milliamps or something below that so, I uh, come to the conclusion that something was wrong over there, so I had a lot of back EMF somehow, suddenly, didn't have it before, but anyway, I did modify the circuit a little bit, put some dials over there, so maybe I can put that little bit of energy back into that um, one source capacitor over here. Other than that, still the same. Um, have it running already, as you see, one uh, watt uh, light bulb, it's pretty bright. When the system is running and the cars are not loaded, it's running at 1790 RPM. When the cars are loaded with one watt, which is this one, it will drop for 90 RPM to 1700. I also did a test with four watt, which is four of these. It stayed the same at 1700 and when I short the coils, ah yeah, all those coils are in series, when I short it, it went to 707, just slightly above the loaded RPM. As you can see, the light in the dark, yeah, it's pretty good, just fooling around a little bit as always with my setups, it's pretty decent light. And the light of the neon is also pretty decent. I also have to say that on this neon, on one leg of it, there's a 30k ohm resistor. Because if I put it, I have put also a neon on there without the resistor and it blows out immediately. So uh, something's happening over there anyway. But like I said, if you can see the meter, yeah, it's 50 milliamps or just below that. Um, did I forget something? No, I don't think so. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this small update, and as always, thank you for watching.